Hello and welcome again with Deep Water by William Douglas. As he had gone through the childhood, his childhood days, the fear, the terror that happens in his life. In a swimming pool, he was caught by a youth, a fellow, and drawn in into the water. What were the circumstances and what were the, uh, we can say, obstacles that he has faced? As we had gone through the story, now he was kept outside the means he was taken out from the pool and was, uh, might be hospitalized but here after coming at home he became dizzy too much he became weak mentally that struck in, in his mind everything that had happened in the swimming pool so let's go let's move again i never went back to the pool i feared water I avoided it whenever I could. A few years later, when I came to know the water of the cascades, I wanted to get into them. And whenever I did, whether I was wading the theatron or bumping the river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rocks, the terror that had seized me in the pool would come back. So you can imagine that after a long period when he became a mature person, yeah, when he became a, a big one, we can say a youth, yeah, he, whenever he used to go to any river, yeah, any lake, yeah, even he is bathing nearby, he could get the terror that has been experienced in his childhood. It would take possession of me completely. My legs would become paralyzed. Icy horror would grab my heart. Here superbly he has written about the incident over there. That he, he told, he used to say that his legs are becoming paralyzed. Icy horror, a typical horror that he is facing in his heart. And his and that horror grabs his heart. This handicap stayed with me as these years rolled by in a canyons or main lakes fishing for landlocked salmon, bay, salmon bass fishing in New Hampshire, trout fishing on the Texas and Madrinus in Oregon, fishing for salmon on the Columbia, at Bumping Lake in the Cascades, wherever I went, the haunting fear, superbly written, the haunting fear of the water followed me. It ruined my fishing trips, deprived me of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming. He couldn't do anything. No, now he, can, he has all the facilities to go. He has all the facilities to do whatever he likes, fishing, swimming, whatever. But the terror, the horrible terror, we can say, it struck him each and every time. Whenever he used to see swimming pool, lakes, water, river, oceans, etc. I use every way I knew to overcome this fear, but it held me firmly in its grip. Finally, one October, I decided to go an instructor and learn to swim. I went to a pool and practiced five days a week and on and on each day. The instructor put a belt around me, a rope attached to the belt, went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable. He held on to the end of the rope and when we went, back and forth, back and forth across the pool, hour after hour, day after day, week after day. So now he decided to overcome this fear. So he decided, I will learn swimming. So he went to the instructor, no doubt all the gadgets and all the facilities were there regarding the rock towards was also specially tied over him with a pulley and the uh, end of the rock was again with the instructor. So to and fro for a one day, two day, week a passed over that. On each trip across the pool a bit of the panic seized me. But what happened? On each day the panic, the fear, the terror, it struck him. 
Yeah, yeah, the body says to him. Each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and I went under, some of the old tailor retained and my legs froze. It was it was three months before the tension began to slack. Then he taught me to pull my face under water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale. I repeated the exercise hundreds of times. Bit by bit, I shed part of the panic that seized me when my head went under water. So, after lots of time, he, the instructor tried lots of uh, towards him. Then he gave a final decision about him. That you just go in, say, inside the water and inhale. And when you come outside the water, try to inhale. This was being practiced a lot. But whenever he used to go to the water, yeah, deep inside the water, the terror, the horrible terror used to attack. Next, he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick my with my legs. For weeks, I did just that. At first, my legs refused to work, but they gradually relaxed, and finally, I could command them. So, the instructor in his way was teaching how to kick, how to kick in water, how to be with the legs in water, and it was just statues over there, and then he could command it. I did the instructor, sorry, thus piece by piece he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece he put them together into an integrated whole. In April he said now you can swim, die off and swim the land of the pool, crawl strong. So the instructor now had, now was teaching in different, different, different tricks teaching him in different different types of ways just making him a stronger 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 towards the water how to swim how to use the legs and different type of techniques and later in april he told now you can be a good swimmer you can die you can crawl you can do anything in water i did the instructor was finished but I was not pleased. I still wondered if I would be terror stricken when I was alone in the pool. I tried it. I swam the land up and down. Tiny vestiges of the old terror would return. But now I could frown and say to that terror, trying to scare me up. Well, here is to you. Look, and off I had go for another land of the pool. Again the terror struck what to do, but now he has been practiced lots and lots. So now he had become a good swimmer. So he tried that I will fight with my terror. So whenever he feels the terror under the pool, he would like to say that no, I can clear all obstacles that are coming towards me. I can be with him. And he did it. He did lots of time. This went on until July, but I was still not satisfied. I was not sure that all the terror had left, so I went to Lake Vanguard in New Hampshire. Died off a dock at Tricks Island and swam two miles across the lakes to Stampag Island. I swam the crawl, break, stroke, side stroke, and back stroke. So he was, but he was not satisfied with this swimming. So he went to the different places over there. He tried all the tricks. He did the many times. He swam for two miles and big straw. Only once did the terror return. But this time, no doubt, he was satisfied with his, his deeds. No doubt, now he became the courageous. He got lots of courage within him. He applied all the techniques, he could swim now very well, but once that terror came in front, how? When I was in the middle of the lake, I put my face under water and saw nothing but bottomless water. 
the old sensation returned in miniature. I laughed and said, Well, Mr. Terror, what do you think you can do to me? It fled and I swam. So when he was in deep water, he could see, he couldn't see the bottom over there. Then the same terror that was at the age of 11, 10 to 11, as in a childhood, apart from that experience, it seems to be. So he came out of that terror. And he told to tell her, no matter, I can do it. Yet, I had residual doubts at my first opportunity. I hurried west, went up the Titan to Koran Meadows, up the high meadows by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning, I stippled, dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back. Just as Dow Copen used to do, I shouted with joy and Galbert Peak returned the echo. I had conquered my fear of what? Next day, next time, he again went to the high area, to the deep, deep water, and he could swim more and more as like that of a good fighter or swimmer. And at last, he had won the fear won the terror that he was facing. The experience had a deep meaning for me, as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In that, there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. So, my dear friends, here it has been desired. Yes, there is nothing in fear. If you will go to fear, fear will come to you. If you will fight, nothing is there and nothing is there to fear. What to fear? Why to fear? You might be fearing for your examination. Examination, how many examinations you have gone through it? Many, many, many from nursery till today. Apart from your whole age, from the beginning when you took birth from your mother, Two till now, lots and lots of examinations you are giving day by day, to and fro, here and there. What happens? Nothing. Don't fear of this thing. Everything will be good. As Roosevelt used to say, all we have to fear is fear itself. We have to fear is what? That we fear of self. Because I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror. That fear of it can produce. The will to live somehow grew in the intensity. What is that? The will to grieve. That must be our intensity. What, are, what, 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 what is our intensity? Nothing. What will be there? School will, will be open or not? When we will, well, whether it will be examination or not? What about this is 12th standard? Career based standard for life? What will happen? will get less marks. God have decided everything for me. Even for me and every creature in the world. Every About 24,000 breaths we are taking per day. If God wants that one missed, we will go. And if God wants to give, He gives everything. So, be with me. I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. The will to live somehow grew in intensity. At last, I felt realized, free to walk the trials and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. And at last, he saying that, I realize, I felt realized, free to walk the trials and climb the peak and to brush aside fear. So this thing, uh, this whole chapter, deep water, deep water, yes, deep water is for you, designed by the government. Why? Because we are going to fear. Somebody are in depression. Why this depression come? Because of fear. You are the youth, you are the next generation of India, next generation of world. 
Why to fear? What is there to fear? Nothing. If you will understand yourself, if you will go in a positive way, no fear is there within us. Now some question answers are also there. Yes, there is on page number 30. Write an essay of about 5 paragraphs recounting such an experience. Type to recollect minute detail of what caused the fear you felt, the encouragement you got from others or the criticism. You could begin with the last sentence of the essay you have just read at last. I felt realized. Free to walk the trials and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. So, you all might also having such a particular type of phobia or fear we can say and how you had overcome because now you are the mature enough to, to go with the test, that particular thing might be bike riding, might be horse riding, might be uh, going to water, yeah, might be going to in a darkness, lots of learn, some of are uh, having fear of height, some of depth we can say not dead depth we can say so lots and lots of topics are there you can continue by this thing and write a short letter to someone you know about you are having learned to do something new these all practices that are in your exercise is important for you for your final examination i'm not going with the term yeah you come to study also so any paper uh, any settle paper settle might do something with you, some miscellaneous thing we can say, you can go through within this thing and have your this thing, if any doubt, I am there to solve you. So my dear friends, there will be grammar question as you have all have uh, gone through the Ekam Kasuti earlier too, having good marks. So for your future, now we are having to go with the fourth chapter what it is the red trap by Selma Lagerlof something is that English you know very good language accepted by all the whole globe and you all are genius with this language you are writing very good I have gone through your papers superbly written some are extraordinary try the more you try, the more you read, it's good for you. Today, I would like to say you thank you. Thank you very much.